muscle energy technique for the internal and external rotators of the shoulder. And in particular, we're focusing on the post isometric relaxation technique of the muscle energy technique group. The internal and external rotators of the shoulder are commonly known as the rotator cuff muscle group. I've put next to the title SITS, and SITS is the acronym to help you remember the rotator cuff muscles. So the four muscles in the group are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Supraspinator forms on the top of the scapula in that groove. Infraspinatus and teres minor sit at the back of the scapula. And subscapularis sits underneath the scapula, between the scapula and the ribs. The external rotators are the infraspinatus and teres minor, and the internal rotator is the subscapularis. The supraspinatus does something slightly different. Because of its location being on the top of the scapula, it is actually an abductor and works in conjunction with the deltoid for abduction of the shoulder. The infraspinatus. It attaches on the infraspinous fossa of the scapula, so the wide part of the scapula at the back. It inserts into the greater tubercle of the humerus, so the large bony point on the humerus. The actions are external rotation, or sometimes known as laterally rotation. It also adducts, extends, and horizontal extends the glenohumeral joint. And it's also a big stabiliser of the head of the humerus in that fossa. The next external rotator is the teres minor, and that sits just underneath the infraspinatus. And if you look at this image, it kind of blends into each other and attaches into the same place. So it starts on the superior half of the lateral border of the scapula, and it inserts into the greater tubercle, so the same position as the infraspinatus. And it also has the same actions as the infraspinatus as well, so they work together. And then we have the internal rotator, which is a subscapularis. This is something slightly different because of its location being on the underneath side of the scapula. So it attaches to the subscapular fossa of the scapula, so the underneath side, closer towards the ribs. And it attaches into the lesser tubercle of the humerus, so a smaller tubercle because it's only one muscle that attaches to that point. And its action is an internal rotator of the glenohumeral joint. And it also stabilizes the head of the humerus in that joint like the other rotator cuff muscles. MET for the shoulder rotators. So in this position, we can check internal and external rotation of the shoulders. And you can decide which one you want to use your MET technique for, depending on what the client finds. So to get yourself in the position, you can take the client's elbow off the couch, so it's completely clear off the couch, and it's easy to move in this position. You can also support the shoulder, keeping that scapula down onto the couch, because a client might want to bring that shoulder forwards to get extra range of motion. So if I'm going to support the shoulder, so even though I'm supporting, it's still going to be active range of motion first of all. So Pentany, if I just get you to bring your hand down for me, and I can start to let the shoulder pop up at that position there. And then we're going to go in the opposite direction, so her arm just goes away, and that's her range in this position here. So we can also do it in passive as well, so supporting to the shoulder. I'm just going to guide Pentagon's arm down for internal rotation, so checking the external rotators. And then again, external rotation, checking the internal rotators. Now for me, I want to work on Pentagon's external rotation, as it's her internal rotators that we need some work. So from this position here, we're going to find that barrier point. We're going to start from there. So I've got a nice strong lunge position here, hips are facing forwards. I'm going to ask Pentany to gently press her wrist into my thumb at 10%. So we do that for 10 seconds. Three, two, then Pentany take a nice big deep breath in and big deep breath out and relax. And then we go a little bit further and Pentany relaxed really quickly and wanted to go that little bit further quicker than the last few seconds. Okay, so we've hold that for 10 seconds, and then when Pens is ready, she's going to add that contraction again. A little bit more. That's it. Three, two, big deep breath in, big deep breath out, and relax. We go that a little bit further. We hold for 10 seconds. And I think we could do one more here as well. So Pentany, when you're ready, meet my pressure. Three, two, and big breath in, 
and out and relax. We pause, let the whole body relax completely and then we go that little bit further. And this time we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. So when your 20 seconds is up, we can relax and then we're gonna chest that range of motion again. So I'm gonna support through the shoulder and then Penta, I'm gonna get you to take your hand backwards where I'm just gonna guide. And there's a lot more range through here. And if I come back and then I'll test passive, again, there's a lot more movement in there before the muscle wants to kick in. That's MET for internal and external rotators.